Prime Minister, I'll keep this brief as I know you'll be pressed for time with the extraordinary number of challenges that you need to address. But extraordinary times call for exceptional thinking and that's what designers do. Extraordinary challenges call for exceptional solutions and that's what designers create. You see, design provides a clear, practical link between the strategic discussions of cabinet and the daily activities of government. It does exactly the same thing in business. Design makes strategy visible. We see it in the products and services that we consume every day. Our delight or otherwise in using those products and services is what we call customer experience. And those experiences build reputations. Those reputations drive growth. And the UK design industry is a world leader in building reputation because we are world class in getting the design of products and services right. Not only is the UK design sector growing twice as fast as the rest of the economy, companies that excel at exercising design within their own businesses grow revenues and shareholder returns at nearly twice the rate of their industry peers. Imagine, if you will, the ripple effect of the impact of their design investment, travelling out from their own businesses doing well into the businesses that supply them and the prosperity that that brings to the local communities that they're in and the wider economy. Imagine what design investment could bring to the SME community across our nations and regions. Imagine the growth and jobs created from their success. And what if you were to prioritise investment in design across the public sector? What could you expect to achieve? Perhaps it's time to change our behaviour in the way that we think about and use energy. Perhaps it's about providing equality of opportunity for all. Perhaps it's about creating access to new services that really help in the midst of a cost of living crisis. You've already identified it's about getting Britain working again. Now, you may not have an easy task ahead, especially against the backdrop of an escalating climate emergency, but you do have access to many of the world's best creative minds sitting in our country's thriving, brilliant design sector. And those designers, when allowed to bring to the table their expertise and knowledge, stand to deliver a better outcome, a better tomorrow for us all. There is a real and urgent need for your policies to make a positive difference to our lives, to our businesses, to society at large, and to the way that we all think about the planet. And you can achieve that by prioritising design. If we are to solve the problems of today and plan for a better tomorrow, Invest in design, advocate for design, recognise the value that design can bring and together we will reap the rewards. Prime Minister, my door is open and the door of the UK design industry is open to you.